In a dramatic turn of events, Tarul Patel, a 30-year-old Texas Democrat and a candidate for country commissioner in Fort Bend County, finds himself at the center of deepening scandal. I am Ruthi Atri and you are watching Times XP. Patel, who previously served as a White House appointee under President Joe Biden, is under investigation for a series of troubling allegations involving online impersonation and false claims. Patel, who has been a prominent figure in local politics and previously held various positions including a Chief of Staff for Fort Bed County and Deputy Finance Director for a Governor, was first arrested on June 12. The charges against him stem from a disturbing scheme where he allegedly created social media accounts to fabricate a narrative of racial abuse. The investigation began last October after Patel posted a lengthy and emotional Facebook post claiming that he and his family were victims of racist attack. In his post, he shared a collage of hateful messages that he purposely received, laden with derogatory terms and racist slurs. Now, this post aimed to portraying him as a victim of an online campaign allegedly orchestrated by supporters of his political opponent, Andy Murray. This post aimed to portray him as a victim of an online campaign, allegedly orchestrated by supporters of his political opponent, Andy Mayer. The story took a turn when Patel's claim was scrutinized more closely. It was discovered that one of his fake accounts used in a scheme was created under the name of District Court Judge and his name was Surendra Patel. Patel used this particular account to interact with another friction person and his name was Antonio Scaliway. The name Antonio turned out to be an unknown troller who had previously targeted the mayor promoting an investigation into Patel's allegation. The probe revealed that Patel had also created a third fake account under the name of Jane Dooney. It was using a Pennsylvania's retailer's photo without his permission. Patel later on admitted to ABC 13 that this account was not his. The Fort Bend County District Attorney's Office has charged Patel with online impersonating and third-degree felony. With that, he has been charged with misrepresentation of identity, a Class A offender. The investigation, which initially began with Patel's post, has now expanded as authorities dwell into extended of his alleged online deception. Despite his arrest, Patel has maintained a low profile. His social media activities since his arrest has been limited to unrelated topics like mosquito control and highway construction update. As of now, Patel has been indicted on the original charges and no new charges have been filed related to the recent search warrant. The district attorney office continues to investigate both the initial and the additional allegation seeking to uncover the full extent of Patel's alleged fraud activities. The case remains under scrutiny as Patel's political aspirations hang in balance and the community watches closely to see how the investigation unfolds. For more such videos, do follow Times XP.